The team's wearing number 42 tonight in commemoration of Jackie Robinson. And now Kevin Newman. Newman hitting 259. The pitch. Bouncing ball toward third and throwing to the plate and getting Gonzalez in a rundown back to Sogard. And the catcher will tag uh, Gonzalez, who stays in the rundown long enough to allow Tucker to go to third and Newman, who hit the ball, to wind up at second. We'll see what ends up happening if uh, Josh Bell can come through with the base hit, bring in a couple. And this ball is lined toward right, and this should bring home the run. Jace Peterson will make the catch. Sacrifice fly will make it 1 0. As Tucker scores, Newman to third. And Bell picks up RBI number 11 on the year. Here at the bottom of the first, and here comes Christian Yelich and little early work. Rock, Rock, as you mentioned, here today. You can see the baseballs down in the uh, right hander's batter's box. Talking about, you know, the stance. Maybe Christian a little bit too narrow, a little bit too wide. He's going to line his feet up with those baseballs and then go with his normal approach. You know how I wish that guys would throw me underhand when I played. <laughs> And there's a fly ball hit back into deep right field. There it goes. Haynes magic underway at Miller Park. How about that? Way to go, Andy. I'll tell you what, a guy that's been grinding, Andy Haynes, the Brewers hitting coach. I mean, the extra work. Did you see where that ball landed? To be honest, I lost it. Yeah, that ball <laughs> just landed crushed it. over the second deck yes. and right. Here's Ryan Reynolds. And a ground ball up the middle. Diving stop. Oh, my goodness. They get one. And the turn not in time. Orlando Arcia. Oh, that's beautiful. Wow, what a play. Heck of a play by Orlando Arcia with a diving stab. Urias was there to take a throw at second base for the force. That's all they get. Good play by Orlando Arcia. So there are two men out. Bases remain loaded as we go back to the top of the order. And now here's Urias. Full count. Brewers everywhere. The 3 2. And a run is in as Urias works a walk. 2 1 Brewers. Tucker is at third for Stallings. The highest batting average in the month of August throughout all the baseball is Jacob Stallings. And the pitch to him. Breaking ball and a line drive hit pretty deep toward right center field. That's going to split the gap. And Jacob Stallings is going to wind up at second base with a stand-up RBI double that ties the game at two. Here's Jose Ozuna. Back up the middle. Oh, nice. Stop Urias. That looked like that might eat him up. Urias says, I got this. Well, it did eat him up with the glove uh, able to save him. That's a heck of a play by Urias. <laughs> Boy, those are good hands right there. And check this out. This ball's hit hard. Ozuna pounds it. Look at the top spin on it. Able to wow. flag it down and make the throw. So Gonzalez at third with one out in the batter is Kevin Newman with the infield in. That will be deep enough. Here comes Gonzalez trotting home. The Pirates in the lead, three to two. Made it look easy. I just get a sack fly. Let's just knock this out the center field. Two outs run in. Bell a sacrifice fly and a ground out. Bell will bat with the bases empty. And they'll still be empty after this one. Over the wall for a home run. Josh Bell with his third home run of the year sends it out to center and the Bucks go up two. And ring your bell for Josh Bell. It's his third of the season and gives the Pirates a 4-2 lead in the fifth. And we've got a giant eagle winner. Chris Stratton, the new pitcher for the Pittsburgh Pirates. He'll face Orlando Arcia to start. Throws a little of everything. There's a drive off the bat of Arcia in the left center field, and that is gone. A home run solo shot. Orlando Arcia as the Brewers pull to within a run. Well, he laid the wood on that, baby. Good swing on that pitch from Orlando Arcia with two strikes. His second home run of the season. It's 4-3. Pirates leading 4-3. We're in the eighth inning. And it's two balls, no strikes. And Yelich is shot into right field, and that's down. A base hit. And he takes the turn at first, and he'll cruise into second with a double to lead off the eighth. Uh, that's when you know Yelich is starting to figure it out when a lefty is out on the mound, and he hits a bullet like that into right field. The, the Brewers are in business now. Abasail Garcia is going to bat for Ben Gamble. I guess that would be called a game face. 
Six four two thirty five and if that isn't the look of determination I don't know what is. Runners lead and Turley sets. One and two the count. And hit sharply. Fair ball down the line. Here comes Yelich around the score. Hira taking the turn. He's coming home. And he is in there. And the Brewers take the lead in the eighth. As Avi Garcia shoots one down the line. Avasayon Garcia hit a frozen rope inside the line at third. It scored two. He's going to wind up with a double. Someone's got to get a hit against this guy. Yep, yeah, he's got to give up a hit eventually. He has faced 34 batters. Zero have a hit. Here's the 3 1. Up high, ball four. And that was close to being a strike. Here's the 3 1. That's way outside and high. And it's ball four. He's walked two of the three batters he's faced. The pitch. Way high. He walked him and he's walked the bases loaded. 3 and 0 oh to Stallings. And that one's wide, and the Pirates tie it on four walks from Josh Hader. Three and oh, here's the stretch, the pitch. Ball four, he walked him. The Pirates lead it six to five as Josh Hader has walked in two straight runs. The leadoff batter for the crew on, and Eric Sogard, the batter. 2-1 pitch, and there's a fly ball hit back into right field. It's deep, it's 